COVID vaccines have finally been recommended for children under five. There are bound to be many questions about this, so we've put together an episode on the data. That's the topic of this week's healthcare triage. Both the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines were recommended for approval in June of 22 for kids between six months and four years of age. Vaccination is recommended even for kids who have had COVID, mainly because the combination of previous infection and vaccination seems to offer the greatest protection. Side note, if they've just had COVID, evidence suggests that you consider waiting up to three months to vaccinate them. Longer than three months isn't advisable, but that waiting period may contribute to more efficacy for the vaccine. Now to the research. In pediatric trials, antibody responses were similar to those seen in adult trials. In the Moderna trial, there were 4,792 kids in the vaccine group and 1,596 in the placebo group. Protection against symptomatic illness landed at 36.8% in the 2 to 5 age group and at 50.6% in the 6 to 23 month group. So, similar to adults, vaccination appears to protect mainly against serious illness and death meaning a vaccinated kid isn't totally protected from symptomatic COVID infection. However, if they do get sick, vaccination gives them a far better chance of recovery without any serious incidents. As for serious adverse events, meaning not expected things like fevers and reactions at the injection site, which did occur at a reasonably high rate, the Moderna data report won for each of those age groups. In the two to five year age group, there was one incident of vomiting, fatigue, and fever, all of which cleared within two hours. In the younger age group, one instance of a febrile seizure and a rash occurred. Okay, now for the Pfizer data. There were 992 total kids vaccinated and 464 in the placebo group, so lower overall than the Moderna trial. Antibody numbers look good here too. Even better than in the Moderna trial, with the antibody response looking better than adults, but we have less information about protection against symptomatic illness because the sample size was too small. Safety looks good here as well, with just two potentially vaccine-related serious reactions, both of which resolved. There seem to be fewer minor side effects like fevers and injection site reactions for this vaccine. Many parents have been anxiously awaiting the peace of mind that would come with the opportunity to vaccinate their younger children. For other parents, though, there's some anxiety and a few questions. One of the most common points brought up by hesitant parents is that kids are at low risk for serious illness anyway, so why vaccinate? This is true, but the data on the safety of these vaccines are pretty stellar for all age groups. So when comparing the two risks, you're looking at a higher risk of serious illness from infection than you are any kind of serious side effects from the vaccine. So as we've said before in episodes on vaccination, we recommend taking the path of least risk. In this case, that's clearly vaccination. And don't forget, your child spends time around other people who are at higher risk, so vaccinating them does contribute to the safety of others, many of whom they love. For those who are ready to vaccinate their children, they may be wondering which vaccine to get. Both are effective, but there are differences that may matter to parents depending on their individual preferences. One of the biggest differences is dose, with Pfizer delivering a smaller dose than Moderna. Because of this, Moderna provides protection a bit more quickly, but Pfizer is a little bit less likely to cause those minor side effects like fever. The Moderna vaccine requires only two doses, with the second dose given at least four weeks after the first dose. The Pfizer vaccine requires three doses, with the second dose being given at three to eight weeks after the first, and the third dose given at least 56 days after the second. So where can you get your child vaccinated? More places are making the pediatric vaccine available every day, but if you need some help or just want the easiest option, call 211 because in most states there's a line set up and they'll help you get scheduled. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on should you get a COVID-19 booster? We'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe to the channel down below. And consider going on to patreon.com slash healthcare triage where you can help support the show, make it bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, James Glasgow, Joe Sevitz, Edward Lillahome, and Brian Nam, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam.